Hello guys and welcome to another video of Power BI for Sports. Today we're going to be looking at how to create a start screen with action buttons that are going to allow you to navigate through the different tabs of your Power BI reports. So this is not exactly something super insightful or super complicated. It's just uh, an idea that I'm giving you guys so that you can improve basically the presentation and the quality of delivery of your dashboard. So this is particularly important when uh, you share your dashboard with other people, whether it's if you're in a club setting, whether with a, someone from another department, with your coach, with your boss, anybody, um, you can allow them to use a start screen like this one that's going to allow them to navigate and go to their desired uh, dashboard of the reports. So in my case, I only have four dashboards on this one. So it might not be, might not make too much sense to have something like this if you have such a small report. But I know a lot of you guys that have so many different tabs here with so many different reports uh, with different filters and different information on each one. So this is going to be really useful for you if that's your case. So what I have here is different buttons, uh, action buttons that are going to take me to the desired dashboard. So for example, if I want to see my standard deviation dashboard, I can just control and click here. It's going to take me directly there. And then if I want to go back to my start screen, I can just go and hit uh, go back and then that's gonna take me back to my start screen. So this is really cool, uh, especially again, if you're sharing this with someone else and just wanna make it easier and more visual, more better looking, uh, and, and just easier to navigate through the different types of reports that you have. So what I have here is just my start screen dashboard, which I have created in a new tab. And I have simply just inserted an image, which you can easily just put by coming to the insert tab and selecting image and also just a normal text box, which can be found also here in the insert ribbon. So what I'm gonna show you today is just how to insert uh, buttons and uh, different action buttons or images that can take you by just clicking on them. It's gonna take you to a specific part of your dashboard that you desire. So if you come to the insert uh, tab of your ribbon, you will find uh, under elements, you'll find you have buttons, shapes, uh, image, and also text box. So uh, the text box cannot be used as, a, as an action button, but all these three can be used. So the first option that you have is by inserting a button. You can have all of these different options, left arrow, right arrow, etc., cetera, um, which can you, you can later on just assign what action you want to give it to this button. And you also have, you'll see at the end, you have a blank button, which is probably the most useful. When I click on the blank button, you'll see just a blank rectangle that is gonna show up on my dashboard. And this uh, blank rectangle is gonna allow me to, to fill in a text. So if you come here on the visualizations on my right and I select button text, I turn that on, you can decide uh, what message is gonna be shown on your so if I just come here and I type in session reports, you can decide all of these things like font color, text size, all of these different things that you want to maybe change for it to look the way you want it to look. And then finally, if you scroll down, you'll find the action. So this is the most important bit where you can decide and, and establish what action you want this button to have. So if I turn that on, I can decide what type of action you want to give. You can go back, bookmark, drill through, etc. But the one we're gonna go through today is page navigation. So this is gonna allow it to, to bring you to a specific page of your dashboard. All I have to do now is just select the destination. So for my session report, I want it to bring me to the session report uh, dashboard of my report. And it's easy, as easy as that. Once you have that selected, all you have to do is next time that you come into your report, if you hold control, and click there, that's gonna take you directly to the session report that you desired. The other option is to select um, a shape or an image. The shape would work in the exact same way. Uh, however, you will not be able to put any text inside. That's why I always prefer to, to use uh, the bank button so you can insert a text. Or the other option is just by importing uh, an image You can select an image, for example. In this case, I'm just select, gonna select uh, actually a screenshot of my 
of one of my dashboards. And then I can give an action to this, to this image right here by simply coming back to format image, toggle on action, and selecting the same, just coming into type, page navigation, and make uh, the select your dashboard that you want it to, to take you to. And that's going to be exactly the same by just holding control and click. Now that's going to take you uh, to that dashboard that you're giving the action. And in addition, if you already have your, your start screen with all your buttons, what you can do is you can insert a button, for example, say with a left arrow shape. Just put it in maybe the one of the corners of your dashboard. And you can give an action to this one that is going to be um, it's going to make the button just take you back to the start screen so that you can always just go back and select the next dashboard that you want to navigate to. So if I come page navigation, select start screen, then that's going to make everything easier. Now, if I, if I'm currently in my start screen and I select and I navigate to one of my desired dashboards, I can always just click here, come back, and that's going to take me back to the start screen. And now I can select uh, the next dashboard I want to navigate to off my search screen. So hopefully your end product will look something similar to this, where you have a dashboard with all of uh, your different action buttons. It can be whether it's a button with a text inside, whether it's a shape or an image. Um, my idea that I'm showing to you guys is just by using images and just a text box explaining what each button is going to do. Um, so then yeah, hopefully you can just grab and, and make sure that you have all of your reports in your start screen. And by simply um, selecting control and, and click, you can go to that dashboard and then uh, just put like a, a back, go back button on the on one of the corners of the dashboard. And that's going to take you back here. And yeah, that's it for today. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave me a comment on below on this video or just send me a direct message on Twitter. Thanks.